Peace be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. If this is your first time coming across my channel, I say hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to like, stay, share, keep your feet up, get some wine, get some popcorn, uh, get a veggie burger, <laughs> watch us on your smart TV, have a tarot party. I always wanted to throw like a tarot card party, you know, where you just kind of have all of your spiritual friends come over and you just watch your favorite tarot card video, like... Why has nobody done that? Or is somebody planning to do that? Maybe that's a spiritual download. But that's what I feel. I think that would be a good time. I think it'd be fun. <laughs> we'll charge our crystals under the moonlight. And then we'll watch tarot. <laughs> it's an incredible extravaganza kind of an idea for a party. Needless to say, I pray that you set with your higher self. I hope that you talk to your divine ancestors, your spirit guides. So that when you come into this reading, you will already have in your mind's eye a spirit of discernment, right? Because you're the alchemist of your own life. You have to be accountable for your own life. So it's up to you to discern. I'm just the messenger. Please put your guns away. <laughs> Needless to say, let us get into this energy, inner God, energy. Somebody is having a really tough time letting you go. Who am I talking to? Archangel Michael, please put a shield of protection around me and my divine collective. An impenetrable shield of light and love so that we can channel the energy of the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Archangel Raphael, I lose healing angels to give us a spirit of peace that will heal past the point of understanding and we'll have peace that surpasses understanding fire sign energy there's a betrayal there's always a damn betrayal okay spirit this is in reverse spirit says somebody's out here being for the community type of a energy this could have been your divine masculine you're coming up as the queen of wands somebody beautiful vibrant independent business owner fiery sexy it's the I'm not going to curb my enthusiasm kind of an energy. Yes, Ten of Swords is here, ultimate betrayal. But this also represents everything being fine as well. My Queen of, my Queen, ooh, my Queen of Wands, yes. My King of Wands is in reverse, which concerns me. That's a very destructive fire sign type of an energy, okay? This is definitely a union, okay, of some sort, a partnership. Show us the story. Show us what happened, spirit. Archangel Michael, can you please stand by just to protect me? Anything other than what we're petitioning spirit for, we ask that you close that door. Yes. Okay, so something happened in this union, okay? Could have been dealing with the Leo, Aries or Sagittarius, heavy on the fire sign. This is a very strong connection. You could have closed out a cycle with a partner. Yeah, you left. Somebody left the situation. I'm getting this person abandoned you first. I'm getting this person abandoned you while they were still with you. It's almost like being in the room with someone, but still feeling very much alone. Kind of an energy. Yeah, you ended up walking away from the situation after closing out a cycle. You went towards your wish fulfillment spirit, guided you. You could have had angels on your path, people that helped you at times that you really needed some help. Somebody could have given you a place to stay. You knew that this was divinely orchestrated. Now you're in your 10 of pentacles and somebody is not doing okay. The 10 of swords is here. Everything is fine. Why is the 10 of swords here for this energy, Archangel Michael? Why is the 10 of swords here? Why is everything fine? Why is this the ultimate betrayal? But everything is fine. Yep. Okay. This person could have cheated with a friend, a Virgo. Spirit revealed, to, revealed this to you when you were in spiritual time out and or going through an essential after closing a cycle, after going through an ascension. You close out this cycle and maybe the truth came after you ended the relationship, but you intuitively knew that something was going on. This was a friend of yours. This was a friend. If to even call them a friend. This was someone masquerading as a, as a friend. Show me more. Why is it two of cups here? 
with the hermit card. Make it make sense, spirit. Help me. What is this? Show me. Somebody's going to be drinking a ginger ale. I don't know where that came from, but okay. I'd like a ginger ale. Anyway, Page of Pentacles is here. <sighs> Somebody paid a friend to have sex with them. There was an offer. This King of Wands could have paid a friend. Why is that here, Spirit? What does that mean? Show us more. Very bizarre, unusual, inconsistent behavior kind of an energy, okay? Yep. This person... This King of Wands... Paid somebody. Yep, I thought so. Paid somebody to have sex with them. A friend of yours. King of Wands. This King of Wands in reverse. This promiscuous energy. Paid someone to have sex with them. Could have been a Virgo friend. Yep, could have been a Virgo friend. August Virgo. You, in turn, put a death to the situation. I think there was enough things going on before you found out this information. Because I'm getting that you gave this person a hell to the motherfucking gnaw after you left the relationship. After the information came in and confirmed your suspicions. You found this information out after you left. That's what I'm saying. Yes, thank you. This person had options. This person put you in several situations that were absolutely unnecessary. Who am I speaking to on this day? Show me more into this situation. Somebody needs this confirmation. This person is paranoid that you know the truth. Spirit is saying, why would they try you? Why would they bother? Of course you know the truth. Of course you do. Yeah. Yeah. This is karma. This is karma. Okay. This lover's card came out like this. This person does not want to close a cycle with you. However, they know that you're moving forward with new love because this came out accompanied with the Wheel of Fortune. You're lucky in love. Love is coming. Love and luck. I just heard. You're Lady Luck. You're, you're Mr. Lucky. Okay? Masculine and feminine energy. Okay? But this person, this King of Wands in reverse, does not want to close out the cycle with you. Very um, entitled type of, type of an energy. Like they're entitled to you. Very controlling, silently passive, aggressive, like you belong to me kind of an energy. Because if they wanted you, they should have done better and they wouldn't be in this paranoid energy. After, you know, everything is fine, or at least that's how they presented themselves to be. I believe that you left on a hunch. Again, I feel like this information came after you were gone. Show me more. Show me more. What do I need to see, Archangel Michael? Show me more. You can have friends and family spying on you to see how you're going to react to this energy. Somebody thought they had a secret up on you, a, a frenemy. They thought they won up to you. Could be a Gemini. May. Spirit says, no, June. This, this person knew all about this betrayal. And they felt like they had this, you know, element of surprise kind of a vibe against you. Like, I know something you don't know. When you intuitively found out, you just left on a whim because you had a gut feeling. You didn't have anything tangible. Again, I don't know why that's important, but I need to state that over and over. You went based on spirit guiding you. Okay, you could have had a dream about something and you closed out a cycle. You are the star. You are, you are the chosen one. A lot of stories are mimicking this, okay? This person could be reaching out to you pretty soon or trying to come towards you. You could be very, very guarded. Not could be. You are. Let's see what this card is. Yeah, you are the high priestess. You are the high priestess. This person does not want you to follow your intuition. They'd be foolish to wish that. That's a wish that will be unfulfilled. Why? Because you're walking with spirit. Close out the cycle. Go in a different way. Found your soul tribe. Money is here. Wealth. You're in your, I mean, you're centered you're lined up with universe. You're aligned with your higher good. Your ancestors are celebrating. You're on the good end of karma. And it'd be foolish of this king of wands to want you to ignore your intuition. Are they stupid? It's possible. There's a high probability that this person is just blatantly ignorant. 
to the fact that you would do anything but not follow your intuition at this stage in your life because everything is not fine. That was an illusion. You are the star. You are wish fulfillment. You are the light worker. You are the healer. Your sex is healing, I heard. This person says your sex is healing. As you move forward, as you move forward, intuitively knowing that you're being guided down a path that is very, very, um, very, very important to the, to the plan of the most high. Very important to the plan for mankind. You know this, okay? So you're being obedient. Who am I speaking with? This king of wands, unfortunately, with all due respect, is having suicidal thoughts. Yeah, they sure are. You know, here's the thing. I don't like to channel that energy, but I have to be obedient to what it is I'm supposed to translate. This doesn't mean that you have to go back and save this person. This person has to have the will to live or not. Because even if you take this person back to save their life, it'll be short-lived. They have to want to live for themselves. Okay? You would be a temporary band-aid, Spirit says. You would be a minor fix. This is somebody refusing to look at themselves and take accountability. This is all about ego. This is about ego. Yeah, this person wants to come in with an offer, but they feel very inadequate. They feel very insecure. They don't feel as though they're up to par. And Spirit is right. They're not. Spiritually, they're not up to par. They can't approach you at this level of your evolution. It'd be a waste of time and energy that they couldn't get back. They'd be wise to go and repent and try to get themselves out of this red tape. Spiritually, spiritual red tape. They're in a bind. They're bound to what it is that they did to you. You're following your intuition. You're following the yellow brick road. And you're realizing that all you had to do was click your heels and you had everything that you needed. Dorothy. As she defeats the dark witch. The good witch and the bad witch. Show me more. I just heard witches and warlocks. <laughs> dragons and dungeons and dragons. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yep. This is very, very, uh, yeah. Didn't I just say dungeons and dragons? This person is going through a very unnecessary, unwarranted, I should have thought before I did anything to this particular divine being type of an energy. This is the energy that this person's in, this king of wands. They sunk their own battleship. They waged war on a light being, on a supreme being, earth angel. I mean, it's really no other way to say it. It's a slow, self-sacrificing, unnecessary lesson that they have to learn. This is somebody who chose to learn the hard way that you're definitely spiritually protected, that they just can't approach you and come at you any kind of way, shape, or form, that they have to go through spirit in order to even have a conversation with you. You're the high priestess. You're the star. This is your time. You're closing out cycles. You're not bitter about the past. You've healed. You could be getting younger. People look at you and every birthday you just seem to get younger. This is justice. <laughs> this is balance. Yeah, this person is heartbroken. They're disgusted with themselves as they should be. This is a very arrogant, narcissistic type of an energy. You know, you were this person's blessing and their lesson simultaneously, unbeknownst to them until it was too late. The alarm sounded and you were gone, guided by spirit, and they assumed that you couldn't move forward without them. How foolish of them to want to play God in your life. Now you have the victory. You could be coming into union with your divine soulmates, lovers and friends, high-ranked spiritual practitioners, because this is the level that you're vibrating at. You are what you are. You're going to attract what it is that you're vibrating at. You're on a certain frequency, a certain channel, and it's very victorious. Who am I talking to? Collective. Yeah, you listen. Listen, you're holding back your energy. This just fell out. You're holding back your energy from people that don't deserve it. 
This is a wise thing to do, Spirit is saying, to hold back your energy, to keep your, your good energy on reserve for those people that understand you and get you. Hence the fact that you are now connected to your soul tribe. You are now in a position where business is thriving. The tables have turned. This is what I want the collective to understand. The tables have turned in our favor. This is your time. The meek are inheriting the earth. Not they will. Not they might. They are currently. This is an adjective. Currently happening at this time as we speak. Do you believe that we're the only people on the planet having this conversation collective? No. There's people all over the world who are light beings, star seeds that are having the same victorious conversation. The stars are even talking, the elements, the cosmos, the galaxies, the light being, the aliens, all of the good stuff, right? They're talking, they're talking, you know? It's a special language between you and the universe right now. So anybody coming with this low vibrational energy, it's quite amusing to say the least. Yeah, why would they try? The most hand has his hand all in your business. The most high is like aiding you. The most high is representing you, right? This is justice, this is fair. This is written. So anybody coming up against you at this point, wanting to have you confused on which way do I go, is foolish. Intuitively, you know which way to go. The Most High is all up in your business and your affairs. And the Most High is like, follow me. This is happening all over the world. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? These conversations are being uh, imprinted into the ethers. Remember, we have recording angels. We have angels that record every single thought, every single thing that we do. We're not confused about which way do I go. Kind of an energy. Yeah, it's foolish for anybody to come. Show me this king of wands. What does this person have to say? This person has to go through whatever they got to go through. I keep saying the karmic check is due. The bill is due. This person now wants to come in after the breakup with a lot of, a lot of love for you. They care about you. They love you. Spirit is saying they, it would be wise for them to love themselves first. Okay. They're in heavy regret, overindulging. They're not taking their dark night of the soul well. They're not sober. They're not well. However, what's the worst that can happen? The ego gets broken down. They lose everything and spirit gets their attention. That's the worst thing that can happen, right? But you and I know that to get to this, losing everything means absolutely nothing. It's a narrow path. You have to choose spirit above all else. This is how we get to this level. This person wants to come in with an offer. They could be burdened. They could be feeling, like I said earlier, inadequate. You know, this person feels as though they don't deserve you. And they're absolutely correct in saying that. It is weighing them down. Why? Because this person is wanting to change for you. How are they going to be like this towards you and like this towards themselves? I told you it was a suicidal energy. It's impossible. That's ass backwards kind of a love. How are you going to put me before the most high and you don't even like yourself? You'll always be a burden. You'll always be that one person that I'm like, why did I even allow you in my space? I've done that before. Did you hear that horn outside? Confirmation. You would be a huge taxing spiritual liability on my path. Did you hear that horn? Confirmation. Spirit is saying, listen. You would be taxing on my spiritual journey. It's not wise for me to do that. The most high told me so. I'm going to be obedient to the most high because now I'm on the good end of karma as well. So there's reward for doing good. There's reward for not growing weary in doing good. Show me two more cards, please, for the collective. What does this person want to say? This uh, King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person wants to be an in and out energy. This person's very lustful over you. They're still very immature. Somebody from the past. Now they realize that you're their wish fulfillment. Somebody from the past, again, in and out lustful energy. Why? Because it's going right on top of the five of cups. They're guilty as hell. Until they tell themselves the truth, they won't be free. The truth honestly does set you free. It's not just a cliche. It's not just a saying. Those are words to live by and or apply to your life in real time.
sending an outlust for energy. It is a fake breadcrumb energy. It is a, I want to have sex with you to get you all up in your head again so you can be back here. Spirit is saying you're too quick for that. It's no fun when the rabbit got the gun. You're the rabbit. You got the gun. Now people are shaking in their boots. Okay. You have the victory. You're saying things differently, but so was this person because they're being forced to. I get the impression that this person is struggling financially. Yeah. Yeah, listen. This person's in heavy regret. This person has some good news about money coming in. Right? But I heard they owe so many people, they can't even enjoy it. And then this is you. Heavy regret. Listen, this right here accompanied with this means that as soon as the check is deposited, it's spent. This is what this means. And I hate to laugh to keep from crying, but I want to feel bad, but I can't. I tried. I just feel like this person railroaded the entire situation. They started a fire that they couldn't put out and now they're in heavy regret. How else are you going to learn that lesson? How else will you learn your lesson if the Most High keeps continuing to allow you to make all these bad decisions and they just turn out in your favor? Make it make sense. Make it add up. How are you going to take, you know what I mean, a dollar and make it out of 15 cents. It's not adding up because you are, you are violating the 10 commandments. You're lying. You're cheating. You're, you're, yeah. And the universe is very fair. Okay. Yeah. This King of Wands, the most high is whooping that ass. It's no fun now. Third party situations are no fun. The money's coming, but as soon as it comes, this person's money goes really fast. They're still in this toxic energy. They're still in this sex addict type of an energy. They're still cheating with the friend. They're, they're still broke, broke, broke as hell. She's broke, he's broke. They're trying to figure out how you're coming up. And they don't realize that all they have to do is go within. Spirit says they've wasted a lot of time watching you move along the yellow brick road. You're hiding this intuitively. You know that people from the past want to see you. And I don't think you're available. I think you're so happy where you are and so grateful for life. You're so spiritually protected that this is really just confirmation for something that you intuitively have already been discussing with spirit. Okay. You're radiant. You're shining. You're fiery. You're the business owner. You're sharp. You're witty. You're smarter than the average bear. You know, you played the game of mental chess and you checkmated that ass. And that's just what it is. The numbers don't lie. So this is your reading for today, okay, Divine Collective, wherever you are on the planet, I love you so much. I promise to the Most High God that I do. I know that you're leaving the planet more beautiful than how you found it. Congratulations. You made it to a new day, a new hour, a new minute. We're so fortunate. Every time you take a breath, just be grateful for that because that means that the Most High still sees fit for you to do something while in this life. Needless to say, that is the message, okay? Until the next video, peace be with you.